Uh, good morning, so I'm here with a new revolver here. This is a BB shooter, but I shoot pellets down. It's a smoothbore revolver, and it's called the Chiapa Rhino. It's a 60DS, which means it's got a 6 inch barrel. So it comes in a very basic box like this, nothing particularly special about it. Um, the manual is, yeah, it's informative, tells you everything you need to know. Uh, information in English there, and also if you open the actual page, the pictures, it shows you nice colour pictures of how everything works. So yeah, it tells you everything you need to know in there, okay? So moving on to the revolver. So basically it's a six shot rotary. Notice something unusual is that the barrel runs along the bottom. Okay, so it actually fires from the bottom of the cylinder, not from the top, like a lot of revolvers. Uh, it's got fake wooden grips. If you just pop the actual grip off, like so, you'll see the CO2 goes in there. It's because it's built in Allen key, which is very handy. Uh, very much like the uh, Schofields and stuff like that. Okay, snap back on. Uh, the relief for the cylinder is if released here, so just hold that in and push the cylinder out, and that's your shells. So these are like 357 uh, uh, simulated set shells. You load from the back so it shoots pellets really nicely. Uh, really solidly made, yeah, it's got a spring loaded thing here, so when the cylinder rotates, it engages and the barrel runs the whole length, six inches, really nice. Um, Got adjustable rear sights, so if I just close that up, it's got adjustable rear sights uh, for elevation and windage. They're really nice sights actually, uh, nice nice little clicks when you adjust them. It's got a rail at the top and a rail at the bottom. Uh, it's heavy, this is a 2.65 pounds, uh, yeah, which is 1200 grams, that's what it weighs as it is. Now, the safety's at the back, yeah, you don't really need that. Now this is a bit different to some revolvers because it shoots better in double action. In single action, you need to sort of pull the hammer back, spring loaded, and that's caught the action side. But to fire it, it's a nice wide blade. See how wide the blade is, okay? But it is quite heavy to pull. Okay, but in double action, it's much smoother, and it probably will in, improve with use, okay? So that's that. Uh, really nice finishes. There's like a satin finish. They do a black one as well, okay? There's the, uh, the barrel recess slightly. It's full stitch inch, really, really nice finish. Lovely, lovely piece of engineering. Okay, so that's the revolver. Um, now, well, I did some a bit of basic testing from uh, from sort of semi rested, and that was like uh, off a bag at ten yards. So I'm moving around a little bit, but that was twelve shots. Okay, pulled a couple to one side, but that's basically if I get my two pence coin, which is an inch, and I just put a two pence coin over there like so. Yeah, you basically got. 10 shots inside that inch, that's sort of, sort of semi-rested. I also took it outside, same distance, 10 yards, and I did 42 shots uh, freestanding, and that's pretty good actually, yeah. Uh, again, if I put two pence coin over it, which is an inch group, yeah, that's not bad at all, I think. So there's just a few outstanding. So there's probably, I'd say 10, so you've got 30 odd shots in the center there, pretty centered, did a little bit of adjustment on the rear side, that was using the, uh, the super fields, which are 8.4 grain. The thing I like about these as well, they've got a 4.52 millimeter head, so the largest head size, but they're quite a long pellet, so they shoot really nicely down smooth bore uh, barrels. Okay, so if you if you revolver, normally revolvers do will take pellets in the back, and they do shoot very well. Yeah, and you can see by the accuracy, it's, it's pretty good out of the box. Okay, did a crony test. <coughs> excuse me, uh, 60 shots from a CO2. And that's your the graph. Yeah, you've got your energy at the top and your FPS at the bottom. It looks erratic, but it isn't, because if I look tell you the actual details of those sixty shots, uh, the average FPS was three hundred and forty-four point nine. Okay, that's three hundred forty-five. The energy was two point two five foot pounds energy, and the spread was only thirteen FPS. That was given a, a break of thirty seconds between each shot. Okay allowing the CO2 to recover. This was, it wasn't particularly warm that day either. So yeah, so the performance wise, it's pretty good if you allow the CO2 to recover. So that's that's really good. So yeah, do, what do I think about this revolver? I really like it actually. I mean, I, it's got a nice blade, a, a broad blade as well, so you can get a, your full finger on it. It actually indexes really nice. So you can put it that. It's a bit weird that on, on, on if you cock the hammer, in a single stage, it's quite heavy to pull, but if you do it double action, but I shot those double action by the way, three standing, 
So yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. I'm not sure whether these shells are compatible with any other revolvers. Uh, it might be compatible with some of the other 357 replicas, which I shall look at. So if, if I do notice that these shells are the same shells as other shells, then uh, I'll be able to let you know, and then you can actually, if you need to buy spare shells, you can do that. But yeah, the release, yeah, oh there, pop it out. You've got your ejector here as well, yeah, to eject the shells if you want to eject it. Really nice and smooth, yeah. Uh, best way I find is just because it's quite hefty at the front, is probably put your finger at the front like that just to support the weight while you're shooting it. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, really lovely. I really like it. So I hope you like that little unboxing review. I'll just show you over it again. Yeah, there you go. And show you the other side. Yeah, it's a really nice finish. So take care, and thanks for watching.